Good morning, Love Country, and welcome to another episode of Palmetto Life. I'm your host, Emily Zuhowski. First up today, the Southeastern Wildlife Expo, or SeaWe, is recognized as the, as the nation's premier wildlife art show and kickoff event for Charleston's tourism season. The nonprofit organization's mission is to showcase the finest in wildlife art, create awareness for the conservation of wildlife and the environment, positively influence wildlife and nature education and impact the local and statewide economies through increased tourism. Next week, we'll, we will be doing a ticket giveaway for this event, so now's the time to learn all about it. Here with me to help us do just that is President and CEO of Siwi, John Powell. John, welcome. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Of course, of course. We're just weeks away we right are. now. It's right here. So exciting. Um, this is always such a vibrant time of year here in Charleston. Um, what's new this year? Well, it's always the trick question. You know, so much of what we do, we want to have be familiar to those attendees that come back. But, you know, every year, nearly 100 wildlife artists have a new body of work. So there'll be hundreds, if not thousands of paintings that are all new. And same applies to our exhibitors, um, our guys and outfitters, our conservation organizations that are sharing a similar but new message. Wow, how many years has we've been going on? 42 years. Wow, well, what do you think keeps it so successful? I think, you know, the other new th things that we um, bring to the table, like new special events, um, but I think also it's the people, not just the staff and not just the longtime benefactors, but, you know, our day ticket holders, the people that come every year, um, you know, they look forward to it, it's a reunion, mm -hmm. um, whether you're local or, you know, traveling from other parts of the country. And, and let's talk about all the venues. There's a lot going on. Sure. Um, talk about all the different venues that people can take part in. So we'll activate the five venues that so many of, of our attendees are used to. You know, the Charleston Place, which is the central focus of what we do. It houses our, our fine art gallery and all yeah. of our wildlife art. The Gilliard Center um, with artisans, craftsmen, um, and a lot of surprises mixed in on the exhibit hall side. And then on the performance hall side, um, Ian Munsick, in partnership with the Gilliard Center, will kick us off on Wednesday. And then Bush Wildlife Sanctuary, Jeff Corwin, other shows that um, uh, our folks are familiar with, and then a brand new panel, Women in Conservation, on Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. So you can spend a full day there. Um, the Marriott, um, across the street from Brittle Bank, will house decoys and guides and outfitters. And then Brittle Bank, which has dock dogs and retriever demonstration, mm -hmm. um, a lot of lifestyle brands. Um, it's a it's a real fun party there, mm -hmm. um, so that covers it. By the way, the dock dogs always a hit. Yeah, it's so impressive. I was out there last year and I was shocked at how talented it, these dogs. It brings are. a lot of energy um, yeah. to the park and to the overall show it's, itself. It's a lot of fun. Definitely, definitely. All right, every year you guys pick a featured artist. So who's that featured artist this year? So this year um, we have Kathleen Dunphy. She's from California. And that, that featured artist always sets the tone um, with their featured painting. Uh, this year, Family Outing, which is um, a painting of goose and goslings, uh, which is hanging in our gallery by Siwi at Charleston Place currently. Um, you know, as our featured piece will be auctioned off at our gala on Thursday night. Mm -hmm. Very cool, very cool. And, you know, Siwi kind of always is the start of tourism season here in Charleston. Um, what is the impact that Siwi brings? How many people are we expecting? Well, we're hoping for 40,000, you know, and some of that's weather dependent, uh, both local wow. and some of the drive market. Um, give or take a few thousand is, is really the infra is what the infrastructure in downtown Charleston can handle um, and what we can manage. Um, but, you know, you mentioned earlier as part of our mission, that's something we take very seriously, um, an economic impact of nearly 33 million on the region. And so um, it's become one of the most important parts of what we do. Definitely. And how has it evolved through the years? I mean, you said 42 years, right? What's changed? Well, again, I go back to it's, we're very careful not to change the things that are, that are most important mm -hmm. to the show. So mm -hmm. the focus will now and always will be on original wildlife art um, and bringing back top quality painters, sculptors, carvers every year. Um, but the addition of these, these special events, um, you know, adding energy, making sure that we have um, a younger generation involved, not just with staff, but with uh, participation at all levels, regular attendees all the way to benefactors. And, you know, we benefit from it being a generational thing. So many families come together, um, the tradition's not lost on the next yeah. generation. And so, um, you know, that's what makes it so special. Definitely. And I know there's one event that you're really excited for this year that has to do with music. Yeah, so uh, Low Country Lyrics, it's a, a new event that we have Friday night at a private residence in, in Mount Pleasant. So it's songwriters in the round, you know, under the open sky, fire kettles and, and and musicians play into their heart's content. So I'm really excited about that. And you can find that on our website. Yeah, I feel like that just describes seaweed too, being out there with, you know, friends out there in the outdoors. Um, all right, 
Now we got to talk about logistics. Okay. What's sold? Is anything sold out already? What should we know about tickets? And what we can sure. do? Sure. A few of our special events are sold out. Our benefactor program has been sold out for a long, long time. But you can still get our general mission tickets um, online um, at seaweed.com, as well as the Gilliard Center and all the local visitor centers. You can also find other special events by other conservation organizations that are going on on our website at seaweed.com and that same list of special events mm -hmm. that are not quite sold out yet, but I would not waste too much time. Oh, definitely. Is there, you know, any tips that you would give people for, for seaweed this year? Maybe if they've never been before. Yeah, certainly for those who have never been, there are two things. One, if you can attend on Friday, that's the sort of least traffic day, mm -hmm. um, and then, plan on two days at a minimum. There's so much to see. You can get you know, lost inside an exhibit site for hours upon end, and, and if you try to stick too hard to a schedule, most of what we do happens each day. Mm -hmm. um, so take multiple days and really take it all in. Anything else you think people should really look out for this year? Um, well, some of the surprises we keep hidden, but you, okay. know, you, never, know what, you never know what type <laughs> of animals will show up. Um, you know, try to attend the Doc Dogs finales on Sunday. It's just, it's, a, it's an exciting event. Um, you know, and make sure you go to Charleston Place. Make sure you see where, you know, the wildlife art, which is what is at our core and where Sea was born from and always will be. Definitely. Well we're, well, we're so excited for this year, February 16th through the 18th, right? Correct. All right, John, thank you so much for being here. We're so excited. Thanks for having me.